So many of us are sad over the fact that AMD's 40 and Ryzen APU lineup codename Renner R turned out to be a product exclusive entirely for the OEM market, which essentially means that the very first processor in modern time who had the power efficiency and performance to actually compete with Intel in the mobile segment and in games is not available to purchase for desktop. Now, I've seen a couple of questions asking why this is happening, so to try and address that, here is a super quick explanation. First and foremost, AMD is not making these APUs exclusive because they want to piss people off. Well, it turns out they couldn't meet the demand for the market. With everything being manufactured on 7 nanometer these days, TSMC simply doesn't have the capacity for AMD to get enough volume needed to be able to sell these off the shelves. But guys, there is good news, <laughs> there is light in the end of the tunnel. It turns out AMD have told us that there is something waiting for us. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm not thinking Renault this time. I think we're gonna have to forget about Fortean Ryzen and instead look beyond that. This is Cisan and this is Fortean Ryzen and this tiny ship might actually bring us some serious gaming performance to desktop. Our initial leaks have pointed out that the Cisan generation of APUs will offer a brand new SAN core or architecture along with an even faster Vega graphics that's supposed to be 5% faster in terms of teraflops, which according to WCCF Tech equals to graphics performance faster than the PS4 Slim and the Xbox One S. And mind you guys, this is graphics without requiring a discrete graphics solution. Now for a while it seemed like AMD had an RDNA 2 based model in the making, but sadly recent rumors points to RDNA unfortunately not happening, which means that Unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna wait until Rembrandt, until we see some Sirius X and PS5 like performance coming to the PC space, which is very, very disappointing. Uh, anyway, I still get very excited when I get to talk about these tiny APUs. Imagine being able to run games, you know, being able to reach 60 FPS with great image fidelity, having an RDNA 2 based GPU, so sophisticated that it support both DX12 Ultimate, like variable ray shading, and possibly even ray tracing and everything is packed inside just a single ship yeah that is supposedly what Rembrandt is bringing us and while Cisan still seem to be stuck on Vega it can still be a valid option for someone that want to build a very cheap budget PC in terms of performance for the 50 Ryzen rise and APU lineup San 3 is said to deliver a two digit IPC gain over San 2 and the Vega based IGP seem to be getting similar specs to the 8 CU one we find in the current 40 and Ryzen APU, but this one is said to deliver 5% better teraflop performance thanks to better IPC. Once again, Roll Game has been able to find some quite interesting details in the C software database. Now, one takeaway here, guys, from this find is that the clock speed for the sad Vega ship seem a bit low. And knowing that AMD has been able to clock the 8 CU unit to at least 2.1 GHz, tells us that this 1.850 GHz ship can do a whole a lot better, which uh, is an indication that the leaked unit is a very early sample. And this obviously begs the question, when is the 5th gen Ryzen APU lineup coming out? Well, that is a very good question. Unfortunately, it is still a bit too early to have an answer for that. But I can say for sure that we're gonna see these sometimes in 2021. Now, Sam 3 is debuting on desktop this fall, and it is likely that AMD would announce his Sam and the 5th gen Ryzen APUs at CES in 2021 following up by a proper launch in the coming months. Now, the Sam architecture is actually getting very mature by now and Sam 3 is looking better than ever, where recent leaks indicate that AMD is pushing Sam 3 to clock speeds beyond 5 GHz. Anyway guys, these APUs would be the ultimate budget pick for any PC builder with a limited budget. My question is, what would be the first game that you would like to run on this APU? Let me know in the comments down in the description, you find everything worth knowing about Sam 3 and Ordinate. Too.